Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, let's just get right at it. It is a marvelous <laughs> Monday. <laughs> we haven't been able right. we haven't yeah. been able to share that one in a in a in a, in a bit. You ain't lying. I tell you what, <laughs> we kept that together going. <laughs> to be sharing good news this morning. If you're wondering why are they so chipper and up and shouting about marvelous on a Monday morning, well, it is, as B.B. said, it is because in order to save us, in order to save the day, because of love, the Lord Jesus Christ put himself in harm's way. We know that, and we're sharing that good news with you. It all comes down to his love and him calling us out of darkness into his marvelous light that we might live a life that shows forth his virtues, his praises, his excellence as the one who has called us to it, that we are his royal priesthood, his chosen generation, his, uh, his, his peculiar, his special people, and uh, we are a holy nation. And so... It's great to know that. You know, those words are sanctifying words. I know you said sanctified. What's sanctified? What sanct sanctify? What are you talking about? Well, Jesus taught in St. John 17. He actually was praying to the Father. He said, sanctify them through thy truth, O Lord. Thy word is truth. And so then in this time of prayer and fasting, we're on 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm just mentioning it to you. Uh, not uh, to, to you know, uh, make it known what we're doing, but to just share it on the journey with you. If you're along with us in the journey, then this time of consecration, then we just want to share it with you and encourage you as well. Well, it's the Word of God, and it's giving ourselves to the Word of God, seeing ourselves in the Word of God that causes us to live that set-apart life, that it becomes a reality. What does it mean, the word? We are sanctified by the word, the truth of God. Well, you see, friend, when you look at the word of God and you see yourself in the word of God, that God himself has spoken concerning you, then it empowers, enlightens, strengthens, informs, and gives vision to your life and mine. Here's an example, Jesus himself in Luke chapter four, having been in the wilderness fasting 40 days, the Bible says he returned in the power of the spirit and he went into the temple as his custom was and they delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah to read and he found the place Jesus did and began to read, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because, and then he enumerates those things which Isaiah had prophesied. And uh, then he, he read through these things and then he closed the book and he said to them, this day, this is fulfilled in your, pre in your presence. What was he doing? He was embracing the mandate of what had been spoken over and concerning his life and so, so declaring, I am set apart for this very purpose. I have come into this world and now I'm going to walk this out. You see, friend, that's what happened when you and I consecrate ourselves to the Lord. It's not just shutting ourselves away, you know, in, in some place and separating ourselves from everybody, although that's a that's a part of it. But uh, really it's sanctifying ourselves unto God. That is to say, focusing our attention on his vision, his purpose, his call, and what he's spoken over our lives. Jesus even went so far in Hebrews chapter 10. 
it says this is one of the uh, awesome passage and i just gave you luke chapter 4 verse 18 but the, the hebrews chapter 10 uh, verses 1 through 6 it talks about how the lord jesus came and he says this at one point he says sacrifice and burnt offerings you would not and offerings of sin he says but a body you have prepared for me you see said that's how jesus saw his physical body this is the temple that I have been given to carry out the purpose and assignment that I have that the Father has given me in this world. Then he said, Lo, lo come I in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Well, friend, we want you to see in 2024 and beyond that what has been written of you in the book, it is what sets you apart, not just what it was said, but you know what it says. You embrace what it says. You let it become your meditation. You let it fill your heart. You begin to let it come out of your mouth and then take action upon it. Friend, as you do that, it is just as certain as Jesus walked out and fulfilled who he was and what he was sent into the earth to do. You and I are called to do the very same. I conclude with this. Jesus said, St. John 14, verse 12, everyone who believes on me, the works that I do, they also will do because I go to my father. Embrace that, accept it as a Christ follower and look for him to fulfill his goodwill and purpose in and through you and in the lives of others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Exposure Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. Knowing this, together, 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 you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this marvelous Monday morning, Pete. And what a combination. Man, marvelous together. <laughs> together. Together. Well, man, I tell you, that, that, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, enjoy that message, Pastor. I look forward to uh, talking to you uh, on uh, Wednesday, but I look forward to hearing you on tomorrow with another Power Pack message as today. Yes, sir. Well, keep on doing what you're doing, keeping us in the house with good gospel music and encouraging words. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. You got a deal, Pastor. Have a great one now. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, listen, we indeed are written of in the book. First and foremost, we rejoice that our names are written in heaven, that we have embraced our Lord Jesus Christ, and so our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You say, well, what about mine? Well, friend, all you need to do is hear this good news about Jesus and his coming after you and for you uh, to bring you out of a life of darkness and to live in his marvelous light and to have your life filled with his virtue and excellence and just say, I embrace you from my heart and what you have come and done for me I believe you're the son of God, that you died and you rose again. I accept you, and I believe that I am saved because of what you have done for me. Now lead me in my life. Well, friend, if you pray a simple prayer such as that, he hears you. Romans chapter 10, verses 8 through 10, give you some insight into that. Having accepted him, know that you are in the book and that uh, the book is about you. That all, whatever you read and you see, children of God, sons of God, people of God, you know, uh, beloved of God, uh, the followers of God, you know, he's talking about you. He's talking about you, that you are the ones that, the one of the, you are, you are the ones that he so loved that he gave his life for. All right, well, know and believe the love that Lord, the Lord God has for you and walk it out today. Let the word of God uh, cause you to walk in a set-apart life that fulfills all of his powerful promises that fills your life with them and then causes you to fulfill that same promise in this world and in the lives of others. All right, remember this today. 
God loves himself, so you, we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Do have a marvelous Monday. Do it on purpose. You're authorized by the one who made the day and by the one who made you to have a marvelous, marvelous Monday and a marvelous week. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now.